In MicroStation, there are three different types of models. A design model, which contains the elements that represent what is built and drawn at a full scale or one-to-one. -one. A design model can be 2D or 3D. To create a more complex design, multiple design models can be referenced to each other at one-to-one, -one, thus forming a design composition. A sheet model is used to define printed output, ready for printing or publishing. A sheet model is always 2D, and the best practice is to draw it at full one-to-one -one paper size. Design models are attached as references and scaled to fit the sheet. Each reference in a sheet composition can have its own attachment scale, allowing you to create a print sheet with multiple scales. A drawing model is always 2D and stores a subset of 2D or 3D design model or design composition. It can be used to compose a drawing with global annotation, allowing you to separate the annotations from the geometry. Using drawing models is optional. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a sheet model with a border. Open MicroStation Basics from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 11 Composing Designs and Drawings folder. Open the Models dialog and open the Annotating Designs Sheet Model. Make sure it's not the Annotating Designs Challenge Design Model. In the Models dialog, click the Create a New Model tool. Set the following in the Create Model dialog. Type, Sheet, and 2D. Name, Print Sheet. Annotation Scale, Full Size or 1 to 1. Show Sheet Boundary, Enabled. Size, ISO A1. A new sheet model is created and opened. The sheet boundary indicates the size of the sheet, in this case, a full-sized A1 paper sheet. Before continuing, let's check if the drawing units are set correctly. These are derived from the previous model, as we did not use a seed model to create the new sheet model. In the Models dialog, right-click the New Print Sheet Model, and in the Context menu, select Properties. In the Properties dialog on the Working Units panel, check if the master unit is set to millimeters. If not, change it. Next, we'll attach a border as a reference. Open the References dialog, click Attach Reference, and select the A1 border.dgn from the backslash msbasics backslash dgn backslash 11 Composing Designs and Drawings folder. In the Reference Attachment Settings dialog, set the following and click OK. Model, Default. This is a full-size A1 border model. Orientation, Coincident World. Detail Scale, Full Size or 1 to 1. True Scale, Enabled. The border model is correctly referenced to the sheet model. In this lesson, you learned how to create a sheet model with a border. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.